Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. I'm curious what you said before we started. <laughs> you can so, tell me later. I'll tell you later. Okay. I said I went to Knights last night. Oh, how was it? It was very nice. Good. Uh, yeah. Did they tell you they s they've seen me a few times? Yeah, they have a table set aside for you. Yeah, you sure very nice out. with my Diet Coke on yeah. it, ready to go. A uh, beautiful day today. We are going to be enjoying beautiful weather all week long. Today's high, 55. Yesterday we got up to 59, and uh, the winds will be a lot less today and more sun. Should we check outside with Tina? Yeah, let's go out and see what uh, Tina's got going on. Good morning, it's Tina at Hometown Heating, Cooling and More. Are you looking to update your unit? Give us a call, we offer financing. As uh, Tina vanishes, you can see those water towers in the background, David Rice has set a wonderful shot. The green water tower, an underrated water tower in town. Do you know where that is? I would say Summit Township. Yeah, but where, what road? Robinson. Yes, very, uh, yeah, there's two water towers that you can access off Robinson Road. Hmm. The no, they are. Other one is on the highway and I'm 60. When I was a young kid, I liked, I used to like to go uh, visit water towers and look at them. That's right, I remember that. We'd drive around yeah. looking at them. Yeah, that was, uh, that was our free activity we <laughs> did on Saturdays. <laughs> Today, the MDOC, MDOC is having a uh, Corrections Career Open House. It's happening right now and goes till two o'clock. And if you'd like to apply for a uh, Corrections Officer job, Bring gym clothes so you can do the fitness test. Mm -hmm. Gym Push clothes. Push-ups and, yeah. Yeah, shorts and t-shirt, be ready to exercise. Uh-huh, yeah, under supervision. Of course. So. Um, JADA is uh, Jackson Area Transportation Authority. Their phones and some of their systems are down, so they are asking, please be patient. All of their routes are running, and if you need to get a hold of JADA, you, you will have to call the Transfer Center at 517-783-6437. Again, if you need to get a hold of JADA, call the Transfer Center today and uh, follow JADA's Facebook page for updates. But all the buses are running, just a little bit of a tech interference the last mm -hmm. few days. They don't need computers uh, to run the buses. No, just, oh. I don't think so. No, they should run just fine. Mm -hmm. So, did you watch Monday Night Football? Uh, I did. Yeah. I was pulling for uh, the Bills. Yeah, me too. Uh, but they didn't lose. I just don't like Denver. I don't like um, Russell Wilson. Oh. And uh, there was a gentleman that lost $2 million during the game last night. He uh, had two separate $1 million bets on the Bills and lost both. Wow, so he today probably, he wakes up $2 million <laughs> in the hole. He probably had two heart attacks in the uh, last few seconds of the game. I would assume game he Because uh, the Bills had a chance uh, to, uh, no, uh, the Broncos had a chance to win on a field goal. And uh, Will Lutz, I believe, kicked a field goal and it was wide. But. But 12 men on the field. So they re-kicked mm. and he made it. That's a tough one. Yeah. Mm. A lot of money. Mm -hmm. A lot of money changes hands over human error. Uh, football is a big money sport. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, here's an example of big money in football. Uh, Michigan versus everybody. Mm. The uh, shirt, you know, this is a Detroit company. Yes. And it's Michigan versus, uh, or it's Detroit versus everybody. And that's the name of the company, and they're partnered up with the uh, NIL people who are controlling all the Michigan <coughs> yeah. uh, players' uh, contracts. And so they, these shirts are selling out like crazy. They I've, flew off the racks. I've never been a, bi a big fan of, uh, of, of this type, of, that type of message, even the Detroit versus everybody. Mm -hmm. I like it, but I never wear it personally because I feel like it sends a message that you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's, I think it's 50-50. I think it's yeah. half the country's on your side. Yeah, yeah. no. I just, in general, I don't like the verse everybody I the saying. Money. I think it's, but yeah, yeah of course. I agree with that. It is, uh, yeah, it's a money maker. America's team, just like the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about uh, Michigan versus ESPN? 
I would wear that. that one. I yeah. would wear that. I actually, believe it or not, I think Michigan State fans would wear that if they had to. Mm -hmm. But we'd probably have to put Michigan State on it. So, Michigan State Duke tonight in basketball. Uh, should be a very big game. Very excited <laughs> about it. Michigan basketball won last night over mm -hmm. St. John's. And uh, yeah, so we're underway in basketball season. It started. It, it, was on, it was on the big screen, the medium, the medium screen at nights. Oh, really? Yeah, Very screen. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, so uh, we won't know uh, until Friday if uh, Coach Harbaugh will be um, winning his court case. You know, the, the court, they filed that restraining order request in on last Friday. Mm -hmm. it, it is led by the judge, who is also a professor at U of M, who makes $260,000 a year from UM, that's where the case was filed. I think we should just stop this right now. <laughs> we should just stop it right this second. Oh, yeah. Tired of it. Um, I wanted to talk about this yesterday, but we didn't have time. Uh, have you been to the Macy's at Briarwood? Lately. No, not lately, no. The men's clothing is no longer upstairs. No, they moved it again? Yes. Uh -huh. I went upstairs to and that. it was a Toys R Us. What? Yeah. Macy's has a partnership with Toys R Us. Wow. Where so did they put the men's clothing? Downstairs. Where it used to be. Where it used to be. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. By the Estee Loud Lauder aisle. On the right? When you go in on the right? If you come in from the mall, you have to walk all the way back and it's to the left. Is it smaller? You know, I don't think so. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Um, Netflix, I know you're a big Netflix fan they are getting into live sports and this doesn't sound cheesy at all it's the netflix cup sponsored by nespresso sponsored by the win no this is going to take place at the win in las vegas they have their own golf course there um, it's going to be with formula one drivers four formula one drivers four pga tour golfers they're going to be paired they're, who is this I don't know, but the powers that be have I, ruined professional golf. This is either Alex Albon, Pierre Gasly, Lando Norris, or Carlos Sainz Jr. And uh, they will be paired up with either Ricky Fowler, Max Homa, Colin Morikama, so are they Morikawa, gonna drive, or are they, Justin Thomas. i got to tell you. Are they driving cars or playing golf? They're playing golf, I guess. And then they're going to play eight holes, and then the two teams with the best results after eight holes will go to the ninth hole and they will play for the netflix cup they've ruined they've, they've ruined, ruined my they're, life they're ruining professional golf they're ruining professional golf by pairing it up with this there's teams know. there's all this off season yeah. behind the scenes mm -hmm. stuff there's the now both of those uh obviously netflix is full swing is a big popular yeah. streaming show, mm -hmm. and then Formula One has a uh, very popular show with Netflix as well. So it's, uh, yeah, mm. that's what it is. That's what it's come to. I don't know if I'll watch it, but it'll be live sports, and we'll see how they do. Live on Netflix? That's what it, that's the point of this Have thing. they done live on Netflix? They did a live comedy special, but they have not done live sports yet, so mm. this will be the, uh, the first one. Mm. Uh, tomorrow is the start of Michigan's firearms deer season, and in the state of Michigan, it's uh, for a lot of people, it's a big holiday. Oh yeah, taking yeah. work off, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a big deal. Uh, the DNR is concerned that there aren't going to be enough deer killed in uh, deer season this I year. I believe it. There's deer <coughs> everywhere, yes. everywhere, everywhere, so everywhere. So. I, uh, I think you should take up hunting then. <laughs> they are um, anticipating 100,000 deer licenses will be sold just today. Really? But even with that, they're um, pro uh, projecting that the number of deer killed this year will be down, and they, they want more deer dead. Yes, there is a, there's a deer problem. I believe it, they, call it, they need a, to do a deer cull. Is that what that cull. is? A cull. cull. Watch out uh, if you are hunting for <coughs> those me. sons of guns from Ohio <laughs> that illegally hunt in other people's states. You may remember them from stuffing the walleye with weights. They're also illegal hunters, so watch out for them in the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, today is the last day of work for a select group of people in the state of Michigan for the year. They're done for the year. They're done today. Who is it? Governor and them? The legislature. The legislature wraps up 
today, so they will have ah. at least a seven week Christmas vacation. I wonder if they have anything they need to get off their plate before the holidays or if they just leave it. Because if you did that here, what would happen? Yeah, it would, it's it not would, gonna happen. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Could you imagine? Yeah, I'm sure they are though. They're gonna so, leave their plates full. <clears throat> yeah. All the legislation that's been passed in this session goes into effect 90 days after the conclusion of the session, which is today. Hmm. So new laws will be going into effect in February. So we can all just take a nap? We're actually, you know, the, typically they, they work, well, in some uh, in election years, they work uh, right through the, sometimes the holidays, but not this year, they're off again. And they just had a vacation. Well, who opens up for when the uh, kids do the tours on their field trips? Well, the people that work in the Capitol that aren't legislators. Oh, they're, they're still there. They'll still be there. They will still work. But the senators and representatives, they don't have to be there. They can go. Hmm. They're off. They're off. They can just sleep in. They can sleep in every day for the yeah, next two months. Yeah, they can sleep months. in. They go hunting. They can do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Typically, uh, they don't adjourn till late December, so they got an extra month of vacation. <laughs> an extra month of vacation. <laughs> Good Lord. That's why people want to run for that office. Well, that and the, the uh, life insurance benefits. for life. Um, college basketball tomorrow night on JTV. We've got a double dip. Jackson College is taking on Gra er, Grand Rapids Community College. Women at 530. The women are 4-0. And then we'll have the men's game right after, live on JTV. The men are 2-0. and oh, So uh, get out, check it out. I would also encourage anyone with a young athlete, uh, young boy or girl that's going around playing 60 basketball games a year, check it out. See what it's like at the uh, Jackson College level. See what that basketball is like. It's pretty good. And uh, we encourage you to stop out. It's great entertainment. First time ever, Jackson College basketball live on TV, on JTV. Should, should be a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful day. Nicest gym floor in all of... It is. Speaking of JC, I brought you back some souvenirs oh. from the Jackson College, um, from the Jackson College softball reverse raffle. Hmm. Pennant and a hat. Nice. Don't worry, Brandon, I brought hats for everybody. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You want to try it Are the hats, uh, did you get my size? No, they're actually, um, we ate ice cream out of those. Oh. Did like you it, wash it? No. This was ice cream dish? Yeah, oh. just like at the ground round, remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't an ice cream dish. Those were just on the table for everybody. Nice. Can I have it back? <laughs> well, you just gave it to me. You're I changed my back. mind. <laughs> Change my mind. I want to keep it. Uh, it's time for Love Living in Jackson, presented by Heather Herndon and the entire Herndon team. And today we are highlighting the White Tail Deer Museum, which has been a family business, Calderones, since opening their doors to customers in 1994. Customers can find live deer, trophy bucks, and neat one of a kind antiques on the self guided tour. Price for admissions only six dollars and two bucks for children, and uh, customers can also hand feed the live deer bar. And this is located at four two two zero Willis Road in Grass Lake. Please call ahead if you are traveling from out of town five one seven nine three seven zero five three three. And if you've never been, you should go. Hmm. Have you ever been? No. <laughs> Have you? No. Oh my gosh. We got to do that today. Well, the sign is after the exit. It's like, why? Well, no, get, and then, you know, the we sign, know the folks. <laughs> you drive by, there's, if you miss the exit. Even Here's what happens. Anytime, like, someone's there for a tennis lesson, they send me a picture of the deer. Uh, the DNR do not want you to kill those deer. No. That's no. a felony and punishable by up to it life in be, prison. Uh, it'd be. Yeah. Thanks to uh, Heather Herndon and the entire Herndon team at. Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. Hmm. Uh, the Toy Hall of Fame uh, has announced its inductees for this year's induction into the Toy Hall of Fame. Oh, I had all those. The Nerf? I have that uh, Griffey rookie right there, Don Russ. Oh, with the that little trophy fair? on it. Yeah, the baseball card, uh, Cabbage Patch Kids, the Fisher Price Corn Popper. That was so dumb, wasn't it? And Nerf. Everyone had the corn popper. The corn popper. Yeah. That was so loud. I remember you got mad and hit me with it when I was a boy. <laughs> um, a cabbage patch, we never had those in our family. Is that what it is? A cabbage patch? Yeah. 
and then I, of course, I can, I have all four of those, five of those cards, four of those cards right there. So these Pedro be Martinez, Barry the Bonds. The committee chooses the toys except the Fisher Price Corn Popper was chosen by uh, voters <laughs> among a list of forgotten toys. Who could forget that? Those are popular at resale shops. Oh, the corn popper. Oh, all Fisher Price items literally are popular. Literally every resale shop has a Fisher Price vacuum corn popper. Mm -hmm. I was checking the uh, police uh, blotter in Washington, D.C., and three people trying to steal an SUV. Uh, they were lucky to escape with their lives because the, they were trying to steal a car that belongs to the Secret Service. Well, you don't want to do that. No. So one of the Secret Service men opened fire. <laughs> and killed him. <laughs> no, oh. they, he missed, which is not a good thing if you're the Secret Service and you miss. Mm -hmm. uh, these th Secret Service agents were at Naomi Biden's house. Do you know who Naomi Biden is? I know there's a lot more Secret Service than we originally <laughs> thought are. because I didn't know that all of the candidates get Secret Service yeah. and their families and all this other stuff. Brandon, you could apply mm -hmm. for Secret Service protection and you might get it for six months. That's why Tim Scott should not have said, hey, I'm not running for president anymore. He loses his entourage. You lose your circuit. Yeah, so Secret who is Service. Naomi Biden? She's uh, the president's granddaughter. So oh, they were parked in front of her house. Oh. In an unmarked Secret Service car that got three guys started stealing Secret Service agents. If I was the president's grandson or granddaughter, I'd be a problem. You would be a problem? Big time problem. <laughs> Just like I'm sure Naomi Biden and her Secret Service. Well, they probably figure Hunter is taking care of all of the problems for the whole family, mm -hmm. being the problem. What do you think Hunter's doing right now? Just laughing? <laughs> I don't know. Probably. I don't think he's laughing. I think he's upset. I'm pretty yeah, sure. he's probably upset. He's probably in uh, Ibiza. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, this weekend, final weekend at the Bauman Theater, Potter Center, the newly reopened Bauman Theater. Brandon, what's the new theater like? It's great, and there's great. Like little mini stages on the left and the right side as well, so there's stages all over oh, the place. Oh, little wings. The wings, yeah, That's very cool. Nice. So, um, this, who does this place star, Andy? Uh, Carrie Swantuck is the uh, actress that stars in here locally. And Cara Baker. Cara mm -hmm. Baker. Okay. Cara Baker. Yeah. Noah, Noah Baker's wife. JTV's own Noah Baker. Yeah, I saw that on the calendar and I was wondering why we all weren't invited to some type of show. Well, interesting. Uh, Noah puts his, his calendar out and he's There's only going to the last show. They play, they run it <laughs> six times. He's only going to the last one. I was looking at that calendar this morning, and he's got a wedding coming up next week. Really? Yeah. His mom. Yeah. His mom's getting and married. And I wasn't invited to that either. His mom's getting married to a wonderful... I'm showing up. A wonderful man. I heard, uh, I heard from someone last night that his mom is very happy, and the man that she's marrying is a wonderful man. That's wonderful. So, congratulations. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Who's on... Today's show. We have a great show lined up. We're going to get things started with Dr. Matthew Badke, our good friend from over at Jackson College. And he will join us right after this break. 